Another big story at five dozens of parking meters knocked over and stolen. This is a bizarre case of a desperate man. Police tell us he knocked off dozens of parking meters in Whitefish Bay. Yona Gavino is live with more on the reason why he did it. Yona. There are a lot of empty spaces now, just like this one, where the parking meters used to be. But police say inside of them, they didn't really have a lot of money, actually. Only about $5 in spare change. Police say he's a man on a mission, willing to do whatever it took to feed his stomach and his drug habit. Surveillance video shows someone making a U-turn, plowing through a parking meter, calmly walking out and loading up the goods. We have a bunch of the meters that were recovered. Um, like I said, each pole has uh, two meters on it and they're valued at approximately $700 for this one whole unit here. Whitefish Bay Police showed us parking meters bundled like twigs. 34 were stolen or damaged in the span of a day and a half. All that work for not a lot of money. Police say he only got about $170 worth in loose change. Ingram Motri told police the idea came to him by accident. A couple months ago, he was driving, couldn't break in time, and knocked over a meter with a quarters inside. He remembered counting out $13. He admitted to police he's been addicted to crack cocaine for years, but didn't want to resort to robbing people. It's a felony. He did uh, either damage or stole approximately $12,000 worth of parking meters. Investigators say he drove straight into the meters and plowed them down. Motri finally got caught when someone saw him and called police. He tried to escape by putting the truck in reverse and he made a very sharp turn and uh, turned it on its side. And when I read that he turned it on his side, the parking meter fell out the window? Yes, that is correct.